these characters mean so much to me. It's not a trivial matter, these books, and, and, and writing them. They genuinely feel alive to me, and I feel um, a responsibility to them. I found the book in a bookstore. I, I like mystery books. I go out of my way to find mystery books in exotic locations. And when I looked at this book, picked it up, and it said the Eastern Townships of Quebec, I was sold. I'm from Montreal. I know the Eastern Townships. I've never seen a mystery set in the Eastern Townships. I thought, perfect. I read it. It's a delightful, charming, um, great book. It's a great read. It's very thrilling. It's got wonderful characters. Took it to Brian and said, read this. This could be something that we could do. This really has Canadian television, certainly, uh, written all over it. Brian read it, he liked it, off we went and tried to get the rights. I'd actually been um, approached a number of times through the years as, as the different books came out and, and different people would get in touch, production companies in Canada and the US and Britain, and I said no to all of them. On the one hand, uh, Louise was um, very unsure about whether she wanted to give the rights, not specifically or to us, I think she was just a little unsure about whether she wanted to see her characters uh, given to somebody else. But as we got to know each other, as we talked to her a bit more, and as we laid out the plans of what we wanted to do, she became more comfortable that we really did get what it was she was about. They understood that there was more to, there was a heart and soul to the books, um, but there were different layers and different levels, and they were committed to bringing that alive too. The other thing that was really important to me is that for me, setting is character that I chose at a certain amount of professional risk to set it clearly in Canada. So that when someone reads the first page of every book, they know it's not only set in Canada, it's set in Quebec. And the fact that I come from Montreal meant that we really did understand the environment that she was writing about. And I think that's finally what made her say yes. Not only has it been a learning experience about film, which is fascinating to see it from the inside and the how collaborative and the decisions, the gazillion decisions that go in and the teamwork. I've, I've learned, I hope, something about the fact that filmmaking is, is different than writing a book. Storytelling is storytelling, but there are different ways of telling the story. Louise has obviously an enormous amount to contribute. They're her characters, they're her story. No one knows them better than she does. And it was great to be able to say, which do you think is the most important, this or this, because we can't have both. And from our perspective, we could have either, but how is it going to play inside the, the greater story? And how is it going to play if we do get the opportunity to do book three and book four and book? Uh, so it was great to have her there. The words of a script are, are clearly important, but they are one element in all of the, the, the filmmaking has so much more to bring to it, the setting, the lighting. Attraction Image, our Quebecois partner, helped us put together this spectacular crew with the DOP, Bob Madigetz, who was fantastic, uh, and Donna Noonan, who is our production designer. I think we became basically a threesome and discussed all aspects of the whole film. Louise wrote the books so that they follow the seasons. So being in fall and being in the eastern townships, fall was a very, very important part of it. This is a beautiful part of the world. I felt that anything I could bring that would sort of um, recall any autumn images, autumn colors, the burnt oranges, the ochres, uh, the bright yellows, the greens. Without good production design, I mean, you can light to a certain extent, but basically what you're lighting is in front of you and in front of the camera, so. When that's dead on, then it makes me look good too. From Bob's perspective, from the DOP's perspective, we started talking about how we can frame a lot of the images, particularly when we're outdoors, so that pictorially we're looking for ways to put those characters inside that environment, not just to cut them off from their environment, but to make sure that as much as possible, um, they're aware of their environment and we're aware that they're walking through that environment and affected by it. And then the final element, or one of the elements, clearly the biggest one are the actors who, Give or take. who can't just be aping my gamache or my Beauvoir or my Clara. They have to inhabit those roles and, and make them their own. And it all sounds so hackneyed and so obvious. And until I'd lived it, I would have said, yeah, 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 I get it. But gosh, when I walked on set, I was there the very first day with my husband, Michael, and, and I started crying. There was Nathaniel. And, and there was Kate, who, who plays Clara and, and Gamash, and, and they weren't even doing a scene. And I was, I couldn't believe it. I, I, I think partly I was overwhelmed with my good fortune that, that 
that this should be part of my life. I never would have dreamed that I'd have a book out, never mind that it be filmed. And cut. <laughs>